For the past seven years, the Cuthbert's Monster TV has served them well, but they're worried it's about to be made obsolete. We just leaving it to the last minute and see what happens. If your TV is more than five years old, there's a chance it's still running on an analog signal. But come May 28, you won't get TV at all. That's when the analog signal, which has served us well for more than 50 years, will be switched off across the southeast. From Gympie to the New South Wales border, Esk to Stradbroke Island. New flat screen TVs are more affordable and are all digital ready. And while most people have already ditched the old style TVs, a high definition set top box costing around $50 will pick up the digital signal including HD channels. Of course, if you've already got digital TV, you'll know the signal isn't always perfect. In the old days, poor analog reception would create ghosting or a snowy picture, but you could still see it. With digital, the screen can break up, freeze or drop out altogether. Hills and buildings can be to blame. Among the southeast's worst trouble spots, Albany Creek, Daisy Hill, Cleveland, Red Bank and Ormo. If you live in these sort of areas, um, there's a lot of the antennas that need to be put up higher. Old antennas may have to be repaired or replaced. Even a relatively inexpensive signal booster can make a difference. Christine's old TV isn't digital, but she'll still be able to access some free-to-air channels through pay TV, but it pays to check. If you love to watch TV, yeah, I would get it done sooner than later. Otherwise, you might turn on your TV and it'll be blank. Simon Ford, Nine News.